Bye, boo. <gasps> oh, this is so embarrassing. What? Hey, Griswold. Hey, Griswold. Where do you think you're going to put a tree that big? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Simone. And before we get into this vlog, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can join the family. So yes, today, today is December 16th. It's currently at 11.53 a.m. I just got off of work. I got off of work a little early today. Well, actually a lot early today. But, um, oh yeah, by the way, this is Vlogmas episode three. By the way, my hair is pulled back if it looks like I'm bald. But anyway, so yeah, I need to go to the store because I need to pick up a few things. I'm doing um, mainly hygiene shopping. I just need to re-up on a lot of things. I've been wanting to do a hygiene video for a long time, but I wanted to make sure I was able to um, stock up on everything instead of just getting like bits and pieces. Like I wanted to make it into a whole video. But instead of it being a separate video, I'm just gonna include it into this vlog because I had some footage from earlier this week. Me and my mom went to the mall. I haven't looked at the footage yet, so if it looks good, then I'll go ahead and insert it here. That was from Wednesday yeah Wednesday so yeah I'm just about to get ready to go to the store I'm not gonna mention what store I'm going to but yeah that's where I'm going so yeah um, just hygiene products and then like some other miscellaneous items um, but yeah oh and there I get back home I found this recipe for some vegan cookies it's only five ingredients but I'm gonna add a little bit of extra stuff um, I already have the ingredients at the house so probably later tonight I'm gonna make those and I'm really excited because the recipe that I found there were a lot of good comments on it even from people that are not vegan so I'm really excited to make those and uh, yeah that's it with these sticky pads because I think I threw the other one away it's actually really cold today I probably should have put a coat on but when I walked outside I it's already too late. I want to go back in the house. So yeah, I think it's like 46 degrees. Wait, let me see. Hey, I'm about to stop by Starbucks before I go. Do I need it? No, but I mean, it's Vlogmas tradition. But anyway, so how has y'all's um, December been going? Mine has been okay. Um, no complaints really just everyday life being an adult which is not always fun but you know adulting isn't always fun 
Um, yeah, my December has been going pretty good so far. Um, last weekend, not as fun. I did have to go to a funeral for one of my best friends from middle school. Um, her mom had recently passed away. Very sad time. Um, I just hate to see people I hate to see people sad. I told y'all before that I am an empath to the core. So seeing some, even if it, if it was somebody I didn't know, but the fact that I've never seen her cry before. I've seen her cry one time. Any any other time, she's a very strong woman. So just to see her and her sister break down like that was just really heartbreaking to me. But yeah, so. That was, I believe that was last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing has really been going on. I want to tell y'all that I started watching this show on Hulu. And um, this show on Hulu called Kindred. I'll put a picture here. But that show is really good. I started watching it yesterday. And, I'm, and I think each episode is like an hour long. And I'm on episode five. Um, I started falling asleep on it last night, so I'm gonna try to pick up where I left off. I feel like Hulu it start it just started streaming on the 13th, but for some reason I think Hulu put the whole series out, so you can just watch it all the way through. It's really good. Um, let me know if y'all have started watching it or any other shows y'all have started watching on Hulu. Um, I don't have Netflix, so I haven't really checked out any shows on there, but. If there are any good shows, let me know. I'm kind of thinking I should have went inside because I'm still in this line. I don't know what's taking so long. Like, do I need to go in there and fix my own drink? Because y'all know I used to work at Starbucks. I kind of miss working at Starbucks, to be honest. Because... I don't know why even though most of the customers got on my nerves because I worked in they were just like really entitled it was like a really um, busy area it was pretty much like Frisco um, if you're familiar with the Plano West like Plano West Legacy West I forgot I think it's Legacy West if you're familiar with the area I used to work at the Starbucks over there and a uh, Grande ice sugar cookie latte with oat milk that's it thank you thank you yes yeah, so I was saying that was the area that I worked in and although most of them got on my nerves because like I said the customers were very entitled and <laughs> but yeah they just they got on my nerves but I love the the chill cafe vibe environment so yeah I didn't have any customers I would just like make drinks just add different ingredients to see how they would taste and I used to make some good stuff so yeah I do miss them got straw in that cart for you thank you can I get some napkins yeah I got that. thank you your hair color is really pretty oh thank you no problem you have a great day thank you I wonder how I would look with red hair because the color of her hair was really really pretty Let's do this one. So hydrogen peroxide is another cheap way to whiten your teeth. Try it, it really works. I'm trying to see if this is the one that I always get. I can't remember. 99 cents. Okay. 
so I want to try one of these. Let me know if y'all tried this before. I think the only difference is like the size of the the floss. I thought they were like different flavors. Oh wait, they are minty. Oh no, no they're not. They are minty. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. Have two brushes. Don't need that. Keep my skin soft. This is the best baby oil ever. I also picked up some of these because I like to use them um, as scent boosters. So yeah, these smell really good. Like the scent lasts for so long. I don't know how, but yeah, definitely try these. Done with my hygiene shopping. I pretty much found everything that I needed on my list. Um, one of the things that I put on my list was an exfoliating cloth, but I remembered that I ordered some from Amazon and I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but those are the best exfoliating cloths you will ever find. And when I use it, I don't use it every day because it is kind of a hard cloth but on the days that I do use it like after a long day or like I've been doing a lot of running around I like to use those because it, it just it helps me to feel like I literally just scrubbed the day off of my body so like I said I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen definitely check out those cloths if you like an exfoliating cloth but if you have sensitive skin I really wouldn't get that um, or you can use it it's even really good for your feet um, like feet, underarms, elbows, knees, all that. But I use it for my whole body, especially for like under, under my arms, my bikini area. Yeah. I was getting a little irritated in Target because, not because it was a lot of people in there, but it just seemed like people was, I don't know. Well, I was checking out and there was one guy, you know how you go to the self checkout and it's kind of just common courtesy to wait like further back you don't stand right up behind somebody while they're checking out it, yeah he just like he was really just all up on my ass like can you back if I had a fart then you would have been mad learn how to give people space see the devil is testing me once again I'm trying to see if you know I'm trying to see if I'm letting him win but I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, yeah, I be trying to act like I got sense up in these establishments because I don't want to look like the angry black woman that always got a problem with everything. If if I verbalize an issue, like it's truly an issue. Like I'm a very patient person, I'm a very calm person, but anybody that tries to A, get over on me or be disrespectful, that's when the bitch comes out and I can really be a bitch. <laughs> I really can. I just, I don't like being angry. I really don't. I like to be happy. I like to be at peace. And I like to be nice. But people just be trying me. Like, they really do. Like, people. Now, why would you do that? Why? Just go ahead and go. <laughs> I really be trying not to act stupid on this camera. But I think I do a pretty good job. I hold my composure for the most part. Cause I don't think y'all really seen me get like just real ignorant, and I don't, I don't want y'all to see that because you know. Bye, boo. Nobody care about you driving around me like that, and you still at a red light. That's what your ass gets. See y'all whenever I get home. Probably whenever I make some cookies. I hope they turn out good. But yeah, I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all. So it's a little bit later. I'm so upset because I think I just finished the whole first season of Kindred. And 
yeah i don't know because i finished watching all eight episodes that was on hulu and i don't know if that's like the full first season but if it is i'm upset <laughs> because it ended on a cliffhanger that show is getting really good like so i'm about to get ready to make those vegan cookies i was telling y'all about but before i did that i wanted to show y'all a few things that i had ordered online that came in this week so I pretty much opened all of the packages, but I haven't taken anything out yet. So yeah, I just wanted to show, you know, give y'all a little quick haul, it's just a couple. So the first thing I ordered was a sweater from Hot Pink. Sorry, I hope y'all get hear me, but. Yeah, so the first thing I ordered was this Sherpa sweater from Hollister. Um, Cause I don't think I had one of these and I think they're just like really cute and quick to just throw on. You know, just be casual and warm. So yeah, I thought this was really cute, and I think I got this out of the men's section. So this is part of their line is called Gilly Hicks, and I haven't shopped at Hollister since high school, so I don't know if Gilly Hicks is new. But yeah, so this is where I got this from, and like I said, I got this out the men's section, and I got it in a size medium. This was original. $49.95 and I think I got it on sale for like $29 so yeah from Skinos. I've been trying to buy this bra for ever since it dropped so this is the um the balconette bra and every time I would go on the website every single like I would check it every day and my size was always sold out so I finally saw it I don't know, I randomly woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, hmm, let me check Skim's website. Don't know why. But <laughs> I'm glad I did because they finally restocked it. So, I forgot what color this is. I don't think it says on here. Um, oh, yes it is. So, this is in the color Coco. Just everyday bra. I like bras that don't have padding in them because I don't know it's just more comfortable to me so I thought it was really cute and just I needed a bra this color because most of my bras are black and yeah pretty much black so I wanted something different another basic color but I don't have a color and I mean I don't have a bra in this color and I thought it was just I don't know just really cute um so yeah, I'm definitely not gonna try this on on camera because number one, completely see-through and I'm not trying to have my channel taken down. So <laughs> yeah, Genova. And I just got two things. Just, I think, yeah, they're pretty stretchy. And like I said, they're just a black flare leg. I would have to wear these with boots because I am short um, and yeah. I don't know they were frayed at the bottom so I thought they were just like regular hemmed. Whenever I get pants from Fashion Nova I always get a size 9 because anything bigger like especially with their stretchy pants um, anything bigger they don't really they don't fit good. I think the next size up is an 11 and they fit in my thighs but not the waist part it's annoying so yeah a 9 is a perfect size for me. I got was just a another sweater because obviously oh this is nice quality oh my god this material is so soft and it's like heavy oh wow okay um so yeah this is just a um Cute little sweater you can dress it up dress it down but it has smiley faces on it they do have pockets and buttons so yeah really cute dang I left them back there <laughs> the last thing I got was these shoes that I ordered from ego which remind me to yeah, I don't think I'm going to order from Ego again because, for, first of all, they took so long with shipping. It took them maybe like two weeks to ship off 
it was just a mess anyway it took me pretty much like a month to get those shoes in so i ordered these shoes that are supposed to be the dupe for the uh katasman slippers for like they were on sale for like 20 they were under 30 dollars yeah so i mean they're cute nice quality um they're really sturdy and really heavy i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna try this stuff on on the screen so y'all can see like the fit and everything but yeah so i just wanted to show y'all that and now i'm about to go make these cookies fingers crossed i hope they turn out good but yeah so let's Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. Bananas look nasty, but honestly, they're just really ripe. And the brown is just, it's just sugar, so. But it said to use overripe bananas, and these are perfect, so. Don't be thinking I'm using raw bananas because I'm, I'm talking about dark room perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Uh, and I know you taste this a little bit. Mm, high maintenance. Uh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. I told you that a flower bloom in the dark room. What you trusted? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. So I'm vlogging on my phone because my I'm charging my camera batteries right now. I'm about to check on the cook. <gasps> touch it because um is it burnt oh <gasps> <laughs> oh my god are you serious this these are the things that happen to me y'all these are the things so i'm gonna try to cut this up and make it into some square cookies or something i don't know but what's the and they're not burnt they don't smell burnt like i don't think they're burnt because i left them in there it said 12 to 13 minutes so that's the time that they were in there wow i'm gonna try to salvage these i don't know how but literally they turned into a freaking cookie sheet like, mm. oh my God. Mm. 
they look nasty, but they did. Okay, y'all, so in all seriousness, <laughs> They look nasty, but I just tasted the edge of one of them. I tasted this one. I'm going to let them cool also because they're still pretty soft. And I don't want them to get stuck on the paper. But anyway, so I know they look nasty. They look like um, pals of shit, honestly. But I swear they are so good. Next time I make these, I'm going to have to watch them and then also make the ball like the cookie balls a little bit smaller because i know why i messed up but i mean they look burnt but they're really not burnt i guess they're just i don't know i mean i'm not gonna lie they do <laughs> like no matter what angle i try to do they look a little crazy but i swear to y'all they good so i'm gonna let them cool off i was gonna actually i think i'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and let them cool or should i leave let them i'll just let them sit out so yeah i took them off of that cookie sheet because it's still really really hot so actually i don't think it's hot no more because i was gonna use those as a freaking thumbnail but i don't know i'm gonna have to do some fancy finger work because they look like literal pals of shit annoying but they are good though I'm watching, oh, it's dark right now. Um, I'm watching Siesta Key. Y'all can't even see me. So yeah, I'm gonna let those cool for a little bit. And I'm watching Siesta Key. I know. <laughs> Hopefully my mama eat one because, <laughs> like I said, is this so much tea? Like I said, that they look bad, like they look burnt, but they really, they're not burnt at all. I don't know if, it may be the sugar, cause I use brown sugar. I don't know, I really don't know what will make, what make it turn that color cause I left it in there exactly 12 minutes. I'll come back whenever we, don't mind that pile of clothes back there. I need to follow those, but anyway, I'll come back whenever I do the final reveal. Okay, so I don't know why I still try to arrange this and make it look cute. But I I don't know, I just thought this would make a difference. That I've got this um this eggnog, but it's made with oat milk. And of course I found this at Target. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm about to try to see what it tastes like. And honestly, I really don't like eggnog, but I figured because it's made with oat milk that maybe it won't be as thick. Because that's the only reason I don't like eggnog. Because I don't like that that thick. It's just not good. <laughs> but um, I like the taste of it. So I'm going to try this. Okay, so I'm back on my camera now. I'm trying not to be too loud because my mama is watching that show Kindred I was telling y'all about. But um, yeah, she did try the cookies and she said they were good. So y'all just going to have to believe me. They really are good. And plus, I'm not going to eat no nasty food. I refuse. Even if I did make it. But yeah, so I'm going to try this eggnog. And hopefully it's good. Because it... I don't know. Ooh, that's still thick. Mmm. Really have a taste. Maybe some like I see where they were going with it, but it don't really taste like nothing. Maybe it's because it's a uh, good and good. No, that's not why. Yeah, I put pecans in there. Yeah, that'll probably be the end of this vlog. Hopefully, it wasn't too short. It shouldn't be. I think I got some pretty good footage, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so I can have it uploaded by tomorrow morning, which is Saturday morning. Um, so I'll probably just stay up editing tonight. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, 
Hold on. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can join the family. And I will see y'all in Vlogmas. Is it episode four? Yeah, Vlogmas episode four. So bye, y'all.